Hi, welcome to Equazer. In this video, I'm going to use Sharp EL546X and EL506X, both of these calculators are the same, to do the conversion of polar to rectangle. Rectangle is also called Cartesian in some schools, so polar is a coordinate that you can see here. We have a magnitude, so we have We have a magnitude of r, which is 5, and the angle is 20 degrees. In this case, we, we would like to just find the x, and here the y. So we are just trying to find x and y. So let me turn on the calculator. To do the polar and rectangle, we have two buttons here, 8 and 9 and with pressing second function they will be activated. Now I have here on my drawing I have the uh, polar and because I want rectangle I'm, I'm, I'm going to use x and y number 9. So press 5, you first enter 5 which is always enter r and then theta and in the rectangle always enter x and then y and then we enter comma. This comma is STO or store button here with second function. So 5 and then 20. Now because this is degree make sure your calculator is in degree. If not we just press uh, setup and here 0 for degree and radian and 0 for degree and 1 for radian. You see here that's degree. If I press 1 it will be radian. Now let me change it back. I press 0 and then this time again 0, so degree. So now this is 20 at this point, just press second function and x, so you get uh, second function and 9 and you get 4.69, so x is 4.69. Now to get the y value press second function and this button this arrow shows between the comma so and y is 1.7 now let's have a look at this example now the difference is that we have here the r is 8 and angle is 30 at the second qu quadrant so again press 8 and then second function comma and 30 do not press enter here so what we do second function and then again 9 x is here it shows as uh, 6.9 and if I press second function and this and it shows y as 4 if I show you this so x is 6.9 and y is 4 so actually this is giving us a coordinate somewhere here which is incorrect to fix this issue we have to know that this 30 degrees is after this 90 degrees so from here to here that is what the system need to know the angle so the actual angle is 30 plus 90 which is 120 degrees so now let's enter 8 and then comma 120 now second function and uh, number 9 so you will get the proper value here x is minus 4 and then second function and this that is 6.9 which shows correct because this is shorter and the length is which shows correctly that because uh, this area is the angle is tighter 30 degrees so that must be long okay in this example now as you can see on the screen we are now converting the we have x as minus 2 and then we have i minus 4 we want to find r and we want to find this theta this angle between this 180 and 270 degrees so to convert it we we must be in degree always remember okay to enter minus for the angle remember always press this one so I'm entering it as 
minus 2 and then comma and then minus 4 now remember this parenthesis automatically because we put minus now second function and then 8 now it says r is 4.47 And then for the theta, again we press second function and this exp button. It says minus 116.5, minus 116.5 degrees. This angle is correct from here to here because it's minus. The convention is that we should go counterclockwise. This is a plus and this is minus when you go in this direction. To get that theta, again, we need to do some a little calculation to get the proper value. So this value, 116, if we find it in terms of positive, so we, we have to subtract 100 and, you know, 360 minus up this value, minus without the minus, minus that angle. So we have to do the absolute uh, calculation here. So remember all the values for x and y for r and theta the result is always stored in x and y so if you are converting it to polar again because this is polar r is here at recall x you press recall and any of these blue buttons will give you the value or recall y so that's minus 116 to make this positive just multiply it by by minus one so now this is positive, so 360 minus this answer, 360, if you want to subtract with the previous calculation, this answer is here with alpha button, so with equal sign, Sorry, 360 minus, now to get the value for the last answer is this answer with alpha, so equal sign with alpha, alpha and answer, you see 360 minus answer, then press equal sign, 243.4 so this angle is 243.4 degrees from here up to here now to get this this theta so you have to make 243.4 minus 180 which we have my screen is already ready so minus 180 63.4 so this is the angle that I was looking for thank you for watching please thumb up if you like the video